Greetings, brethren. Um, we bring our warm greetings here from New Zealand to you all. It's a privilege to be able to share communion with, with our brothers and sisters in Australia. Let me just start by, by reading from Luke chapter 22 and verses 19. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. We remember, we remember at this time. It's a very special occasion where we remember our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, do this in remembrance of me. So what do we remember on this evening? Well, firstly, we remember what Jesus suffered for us. We remember how he suffered betrayal by Judas. We remember the injustice that he endured. We remember how he was not given any fair trial. We, we remember the, the agony. We remember the agony that he experienced that evening before he was crucified. How he, his blood was, was like, um, his sweat was like, drops of blood. We remember how Jesus suffered psychologically, the anguish that he would even cry out to his, his father, take this cup from me, but nevertheless your will be done, not my will. We remember that the suffering included a great spiritual warfare as well, as he was battling Probably Satan was on the attack. We remember it was a great spiritual battle that he endured. And we remember, of course, the, the terrible physical suffering that Jesus endured. We remember the, the, the whippings. We remember the, the beatings. We remember him on the cross and the, the painful, the excruciating pain that's involved in a crucifixion. We remember what Jesus suffered. We don't only remember that, we remember how Jesus suffered. Jesus suffered willingly. He went to the cross. He laid down his life. He willingly suffered. We, we remember how he, he suffered also honorably. He was silent. He, he didn't curse those who were cursing him even though he was being mocked and humiliated. We remember he suffered honorably. He didn't revile back when he was reviled. Oh, what an honorable way that he died. And we remember the dignity with which he died. How he could pray whilst in agony, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We remember the, the comfort he brought to the thief on the cross that assurance that he gave him. Jesus was not only thinking of himself as he was suffering and agony on the cross. Jesus suffered with dignity. So we remember what Jesus suffered. We remember how Jesus suffered. And I also like to remember the love and the grace that it took for Jesus to suffer as he suffered. It says in the scriptures, for the love of Christ compels us. And we judge thus that if one died for all, and he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. It was a love of God. It was a love of Christ. He suffered in, in a way for us that we, we never deserve such kindness, such, such grace. So we remember also the love and grace it took for Jesus to suffer for us. I also like to remember and we remember why he had to suffer all he did. Why did he suffer all of these things? Simply 
because of sin. Our sin. The sin of every single human being who's walked this earth or, or who will walk this earth. He had to suffer because of our sin. And therefore we must have an attitude of hatred towards sin. We must hate sin. Sin in our life, sin in our hearts. We must turn from that sin because each sin is a reason why Jesus had to suffer. So we remember why he suffered, how he suffered, the love and the grace that it took for him to suffer like that. And we remember why, what he suffered. We also like to remember what Jesus accomplished on the cross. It was a mighty victory on the cross that he accomplished. He brought reconciliation between God and man. He, he accomplished salvation, eternal life for all who would believe in him and the work that he did at the cross. He, he achieved justification to make those who believe right in, in God's sight, to be declared righteous before God. He, he achieved and accomplished such a wonderful feat of hope, bringing everlasting hope, bringing the resurrection hope. And finally, one more thing we love to remember. We remember that Jesus indeed rose again from the grave to victory. As the song says, up from the grave he arose with a mighty victory over his foes. He arose a victor from a dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. Let's remember these wonderful things tonight that our Lord Jesus Christ suffered for us and achieved for us. God bless you as we partake of the Lord's Supper tonight. May we always remember what Jesus has done and why.